Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. Now, I've been buying Festool tools for about four years now, but it's only relatively recently that I've got into their drills and drill drivers. And you may have uh, seen, not so long ago, my review of the beautiful Festool CXS drill driver, this one here. Super machine. And I'm even more of a latecomer to their standard for connecting uh, bits and tools to their drill drivers, the Centrotech standard. And I've looked into it a lot recently, I've learnt a lot, and I want to share this with you now. Now before we look at Centrotech in detail, I just want to remind you, or show you if you've not seen it before, Festool's fast fix concept for swapping chucks and bit holders in their drills and drill drivers. Now it's as simple as this, off goes one and then on goes another, just like that. And it's a very quick and easy method of interchanging all sorts of fittings on drills and drill drivers. It's fast fix. Now it's only when you try and put uh, a legacy uh, drill bit uh, into a legacy bit holder that you realize just how unstable uh, the whole thing is. And its problem is, is because there is so little contact surface between the bit and the tool chuck. Now I've got the Centrotech chuck uh, fitted to my drill and in that chuck I've got this Centrotech PosiDrive uh, bit. Now, if I were to remove that from the chuck, look how much goes inside. It's a huge amount and it's that amount going inside the chuck that guarantees the stability of the Centrotech bit, whether it's a screwdriver bit or a drill bit. When it's a drill bit, it's particularly important. Now let's see how that extra support is given. In this diagram, I'm showing a Centrotech chuck here and a Centrotech bit. In my case, I've got a posi drive there. Now, if I were to remove uh, the Centrotech bit from the uh, tool chuck and then remove the tool chuck uh, from the drill, I'm left with the, the drive of the drill. Now, when you insert a Centrotech bit through the Centrotech chuck, it actually then goes on into uh, the drive head of the drill. So it's getting its drive and its primary support from here. Now, if I now put the Centrotech uh, chuck uh, back in place, it's now getting its precision support from the Centrotech uh, chuck. And so it's got two places where it's supported, and that is held very firmly. And if you're doing a drilling operation, it's the stability of the point uh, which is critical. The bit is held in place uh, with the ball bearing. You can see it in red there. Uh, the second ball bearing is the one that's associated with the fast fix mechanism for holding the Centrotech uh, chuck in place on the drill. Now, the next part of the advantage of Centrotech that I want to point out is shown also on the diagram. You can see the outline of a normal Jacobs chuck which might be fitted uh, to a drill. And if you're using legacy systems on a non-festal drill, then uh, you're, you're going to be using a chuck to hold the, the bit holder. But just notice how much uh, room is saved by the introduction of the Centrotech uh, chuck. Now, by using a Centrotech chuck, uh, everything is that much more compact. It's taking up only this amount of space instead of that amount of space. And that's illustrated by showing you the outline of the Jacobs chuck on that diagram. Now, Festool have made provision for you to use your legacy bits uh, with the Centrotech uh, chuck. And that is by putting in this uh, bit holder here. And then you take one of your legacy bits and it goes in the end like so. Now, one of the uh, things that people have said in the past is, well, uh, why have Festool developed the standard which is different from uh, the legacy standard? You know, my legacy bits won't fit in there directly. Well, if you look at this diagram, uh, you can see why. If you were to put a legacy bit into a Centrotech chuck, then because of the shortness uh, of the contact on there and the overall shortness of that bit, there is a huge danger it's going to get lost inside and then you'd be in trouble. So Festool have overcome that uh, by making sure that you cannot fit a legacy bit into a Centrotech uh, chuck. And of course, the other advantage of the Centrotech chuck is the fact that it is uh, so much lighter uh, than a Jacobs chuck. 
And so your overall weight of your machine in your hand is going to be much less. Now, let me just give you a, a quick introduction to the selection uh, of different uh, tools and drills that are available uh, with the Centratech standard. Uh, now, the very first thing, of course, is the uh, legacy bit holder. So you can put this into your uh, Centratech chuck, uh, and then you can use any one of your uh, legacy uh, bits that you may have. So that's a, an important one to help you through the transition period. And then there's also this. If you've got a non-festal drill, and let's imagine this, this is a non-festal drill, uh, and you put this into your chuck, it then allows you to migrate to the uh, Centratech standard by giving you the ability to put a Centratech chuck or any other uh, tool uh, on there from the festal range. You can get countersinks in a variety of sizes. Uh, you can get uh, drills with countersinking uh, built in, and these are adjustable for depth and, and so on. And here's a, another example of a, a drill which has got a, an adjustable uh, drill stop on it so that you can set that to different depths. Uh, you may want to have an extended bit holder. Now you've probably seen in the background the cabinet I'm making and I'm using these Accuride uh, draw runners uh, in there and I need uh, to drill the holes for the Euro screws. Now if you've not seen them before this is the sort of screw I'm talking about and Festool have come up with this rather nifty gadget, it's in uh, the set and it drills a hole but it also has this centering feature on it and I'll give you a demonstration now. You position the item where you want and you just drill through and then you simply remove that, put in your screwdriver bit and then away you go. And then that's held nice and firmly. And this one is rather nifty, it's designed uh, to allow you to put uh, hooks in like this and it's very simple to use and you just screw in like so and there's your hook uh, wherever it is you need it to be and it's just as easy to use this to take them out as well. So if you've got a lot of those to put in uh, this is a great labour saving device. And of course everybody wants to have one of these. Uh, this is a tool holder which allows you to put a, a Centra Tech uh, chuck on the end and then uh, you can then uh, use any of the Centratech bits uh, and use this like an ordinary screwdriver. And there's the full range of bits that you would expect uh, plus all sorts of uh, drills and they can be brad point drills like this uh, or normal high speed drills like these. Uh, and these are particularly interesting because uh, you can replace the actual drill in these by undoing uh, that uh, little uh, nut there and out that comes and you pop in another one if it gets broken. And then we have this. Now this is a Festool Zobo bit. Uh, it's got a Centratech uh, end on here and this is quite frankly uh, the world's best Forstner bit. You look at this. Now that is a, a really neat hole and uh, th these drill bits are super. And finally, to whet your appetite, I'm very grateful to Festool UK for providing this for me to show you. It is the assembly package, and inside you have a whole wealth of uh, Centratech items, uh, and also some uh, legacy bits which can go into the uh, legacy bit holder with the Centratech end. And so uh, you get a complete package. It includes uh, brad point bits from three up to eight millimeters, a complete set of high speed uh, drill bits, uh, 10 of them from three millimeters up to 10. And those are the ones with the replaceable uh, bits. Uh, and then a complete selection uh, of different uh, uh, drivers that you might need, plus the, uh, the holder which I showed you earlier. And there's a rather neat little uh, belt clip here. Uh, in fact, it's two of them. Uh, they separate and those can go on your belt for holding uh, bits that you use frequently. So it's quite a well thought out package. 
I hope I've managed to uh, demonstrate to you the advantages of the Centratec uh, standard uh, and how it's going to give you better performance from uh, whatever uh, bits or drills you're using with your tools. Now, I'm aware of the argument that people say that, uh, oh, it's Festool, it's going to be expensive. Well, they're certainly not cheap, but then these are not cheap products made of cheap components, uh, made of cheap steel or whatever. These are made out of high quality uh, materials and they are built to last. Uh, unfortunately, we do have accidents. This is my Zobo bit, uh, which costs about the same as a good quality Forstner bit, I might add. And I was using it the other day and I hit a screw. And I was able to remove the central pin, which is what Festool expects you to do. And I was then able to sharpen it myself with a little diamond file. And it's now as good as new, despite that mishap. Now you try doing that with any other force the bit you might have, and I'll guarantee you'll have trouble. But I managed that very easily. So Festool do put a lot of thought into all of the things that they create. Well, you now know as much about Centratech uh, as I do, and I, I hope uh, that's uh, been of use to you. Uh, now, the Centratech system is a great engineering design. It's cleverly thought out, as you'd expect from Festool. And I've got a few Centratech items, and I'm going to be adding more and more uh, as I go along. I think they're really good. And if you've never seen a Zobo bit before, uh, try getting one. They're really, really good. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>